Hello my beautiful collective, this is Lauren, welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the flow of energy. I felt very, very drawn to do this, so I'm going to take you a number card. I'm going to take different oracles, including a major arcana, and then we are going to get into the read. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides, could we have one of these please? I hope you're all well. Please only take what resonates from this read. This is just a message that I needed to get out. And when they tell me to, I do. That's it. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle away. Thank you. And see what... Right. <laughs> okay. So we have 16. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. Temperance, energy, balance, moderation. Divinity. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life and notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. So you can have some clarity for 16, please. Clarity for 16, thank you so much. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okie dokie. So this is someone upsetting the broth. Leap, please, leap. Thank you. Wow. We have the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands and the World. This is the transmutation stage. Could we have Temperance, please? Temperance, Energy. What is this about? Some more information. Angel Spirit Guides. This is remaining balanced. This is having any, everything and anything in moderation. Whoa. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands sideways. And they want me to leave that that way. Okay, that's not a problem. Angels, notice the signs and ground yourself. Thank you so much. We have Empress. We have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Lovely. And at the bottom, boom, talk about transmutation. The Six of Wands, this is victory. Okay, this can talk about public victory. This is just victory on your quest forward. So I'm going to grab my seat and drink. I suggest you do the same and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful watchers, we're starting with 16. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths and have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. So it's asking you to be perceptive during this time because somebody is trying to upskill your plans. The wheel will eventually turn. This talks about, you know, you've had a run of bad luck and everything. Um, but the wheel will turn in your favour. But somebody has been very deceptive. There's been lies. There's been malice. Unfortunately, you have to read them as they fall because they fell in reverse. So the five of swords talks about, you know, that stubborn pride, the refusal to give in even when everything is lost. Um, and the seven of swords in reverse talks about theft, lies, malice. It's telling you to look after your possessions during this time and do not give your trust readily to everyone everybody and that's what it's saying here so if you're working on something I would just be aware I'm just going to pull one of these angel spirit guides one of these you want one of these can we have some more information on the wheel of fortune in reverse so someone's trying to upset their fortune someone has been deceptive there's been lies there's been malice what's this 
there you go i can't you can't even write it can you your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path be careful so there's a snake within your midst and that's what it's saying you need to be aware of this so this is what this wake up call and this is why this message had to come out because what you're doing is absolutely amazing moving forward i can see that so just be aware that there are lies and deception around you you know i would you've got the king of swords he's alert to the undercurrent so move forward and take the leap but be aware of who you are and what is around you because here it says you go first the universe will catch you they trust you upon this quest knight of wands is an energetic worker this is a movement forward it's charging you forward and it's like um, a force of destiny charging you forward we've got the king of swords the ace of wands and the world so this talks about communication the king of swords is you know his intellect he's using that intellect and communication when he needs to charging forward as the energetic worker this movement forward you need to have your intellect be alert to the undercurrents and be aware and prepared for what you are embarking upon here which is this new frequency and new beginning so the king of swords is he's the power the authority within a situation he's very very rational if you stay in that vibration and that temperance vibration then this cannot upskill your energy this is simply a warning a fact that somebody is there they're probably you know if you've got something they kind of copied it and re-led it they can be blocking you in a certain way be aware of that frequency and how you're aware is you take the leap you move forward you move forward on your quest whatever that quest might be it's courage it's traveling it's the distance and the optimism the brilliance he needs to move forward using his intellect voicing himself holding the sword of truth and it's it, you know the king of swords is very analytical and then we have the ace of wands and the world so the ace of wands is we, we've got two very very powerful energies here the ace of wands is the creativity it's the enterprise it's the budding spark within you and it's the it's the adventure moving forward with the world now this can talk about traveling the world taking the leap movement forward that movement there the world is the completion of the cycle and it's understanding it with greater clarity that you have control over your own future this person cannot influence your future only if you let it they just want you to be aware that to keep your cards close to your chest during this time because there is a snake in the mix there is somebody watching you a snake sits and it lurks and it watches and that is what's happening now so take the leap of faith be who you are now we have temperance here remain balanced at all times the temperance is one of the most beautiful energies temperance talks about combining the various elements for a harmonious life she pulls from cup to cup that is heart chakra she is balancing her emotions at all times everything in harmony it's the blending of energy and that self-control you need during this time now whatever you're working upon is going to bring you money in the bank the four of pentacles talks about you know it's that say you can have savings it's the stability you're wanting in a business sector and we've got the nine of pentacles here the nine of pentacles talks about the education towards your richness growing your own garden it's that self-assurance and security you're wanting and how you get that is by the three of wands energy this is the young emperor this is the engineering and the planning section and it's taking control over the situation it's the growth it's the foresight it's the work you put into something remain balanced at all times now we have the ten of wands sidewards so so when the ten of one comes sideways it's like you're working on something and it's a burdenous load but you are managing it it's just can mean that you need to take a break from time to time and balance your energy out because it can become a burden if you don't do so and that's what it's saying to me here take the leap move forward do not let this person upset your vibration and make sure you're grounded at all times. Notice the signs because the angels and spirit guides are on your side. Now we have the Empress there. The Empress is your abundance. It's birthing the new frequency into existence. It's the intuition you need as a way of creating your own creativity. You're moving forward blindfolded, but you have gained mastery because you're very good at blocking energy here. And this also talks about effort. But the Seven of Wands talks about mastery during this time and blocking energy of negativity. It's the defense mechanism you've grown and this self-control you've needed. Um, it can be quite defensive at times. And what it's saying 
because you're moving forward blindfolded you can put yourself in a defense mechanism but blocking energy is necessary if you've got a snake in your midst and you've gained mastery during this time now we have the six of wands the six of wands talks about victory this can talk about public victory this is a beautiful energy the six of wands is the limelight it's success it's triumph right it's the accomplishment of journeying towards something you want and whatever you are working upon taking that leap of faith is not just in yourself this is the full this is a new quest this is a journey taking the leap of faith in from you know when we look at the full the baggy carries the full represents experiences lessons both positive and negative and you've obviously been through a negative now this could be a past energy absolutely here that is giving you this new frequency to take this leap of faith into a new frequency of existence now on the full card in the tarot you know his his clothes are never extravagant he's very unconventional um and it's also a way of indicating his connection to nature he's very very grounded and they want you to be grounded so taking this leap of faith move forward boldly as the energetic worker speak your truth and hold the sword of truth be alert to the undercurrents at all times because if this is a past energy and a past experience you know that is going to influence your future only if you allow it you need to release that energy and if you know who it is release them because the ace of wands is the creation it's the intuitive creation of an enterprise and it's brilliance and it's that spark of inspiration and it enables you to open the aspect to the world now you could be communicating with the world and this is what this is about move forward and communicate with the world using your wand of power and energy because the world can talk about the world as an essence remain balanced you're going to have money in the bank this is for your independent power know who you are and sit in your power with the three of wands and create the planning stage you know make sure you're paying attention to detail it's the consulting type stage you are maintaining your balance even if sometimes it's difficult make sure you have give and take in work and play life and here obviously we've got ground yourself always stay grounded i've taught you to take your shoes off walk upon the earth have a salt bath and notice the signs the angel spirit guides are guiding you upon your path and we have the empress you know the empress is beautiful it's mother energy and it's also using your intuition um, and increasing your creative knowledge you're going forward blindfolded but you've gained mastery blocking negative energy here and you're going to be very victorious so whatever this energy here is and this snake came out you know, you have to be aware of it. Hang on a second. There was a, there's another one turned over. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. Do you see the shift in frequency and vibration? It's going from, you know, whatever's happened here has been awful. You know, somebody blocking your blocking your money your wheel of fortune you're trying to block your path that's what I feel and they're being very deceptive and awful but now what's happening is you're going against the grain you're following your star energy and you're taking a leap and you've decided to put this frequency out to the universe because you feel you can see here I love this card I just love this card if I can pick it up <laughs> As you can see here, the old her sits in the shadows. The new her holds the energy within her hands and she's taken the leap of faith in the universe. The universe will catch you. Take the leap. Trust in the process. It is now your time. It's your time. It's a change of frequency. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. Know who you are. See the signs and own your power that is your message i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give me a thumbs up there completely private if this is your message let me know below i was very drawn to do this and when the angel spirit guys ask me to do something as long as i'm here of course i will and um, so love and light to you until next time from my heart to yours bye bye for now